with uh, Lady Paul Sedley, who was running Ethiopian Holidays, another formidable lady. And uh, we got on very, very well. And um, I'm known, I suppose, I suppose I'd better be honest about it, I'm known for having an opinion about things. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, we had long, long chats about Ethiopian holidays and how it might work and how it wouldn't work. And um, it's indicative of how hard Ethiopian people work, is the fact that a lot of what I said was taken on board and a lot of it was dismissed. And so I feel half happy and half sad. However, it's really wonderful to see a product now coming to, to fruition. Um, it will be a work in progress, of that there is no doubt, and things will change. Like all good products, they evolve. They evolve into its own skin. And this will happen. And the media that are here today will drive this for us. The industry of people like Dominic Burke, who fronts up 70 plus travel agents in this country, um, will do it for us. Why? Because they believe in us, and that's why they're here today. Um, our unit in Ireland is a very strong, tight unit. We work exceptionally hard for the company because the company believe in us, and as a result, we believe in the company. Um, I personally understand African life very, very well. And if you look at Ethiopia as a country, you know it's not so long ago there were some very hard, bad things said, which were soul destroying to humanity. Um, and you know, I think the proof of the pudding is in the experiences and the learnings countries have. What happened 30 plus years ago is actually not to the same level, but droughts are still happening in Ethiopia. You know, things are suffering, crops are dying, but it's not hitting the media. Why? Because the country is now helping itself. As a result, we are building our own country. In Addis Ababa, it's building exponentially in front of your eyes every single month. If you go back, I'm sure, Mike, you'll see differences every time you go back. Um, Bully Airport, our international airport, is adding a problem. We still have permission to build a new airport 15 km outside of the city. Um, Rough Guy and Lonely Planet have advised the world that Ethiopia is one of the must-see countries of the world. One of the must-see countries of the world. We have nine UNESCO sites, six more waiting to be ratified. The Simeon Mountains, nobody talks about, but you know it's a challenge. Not as much of a challenge as Kilimanjaro, but it's a challenge. All these things are there. The only thing that's not advisable that you do in Ethiopia is pick up an Avis car or a Hertz car and drive them on and off. Um, because if you think we're nuts driving, hey man, enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Woo! It's a fantastic country. I think it, it, all countries are indicative of their people. Everyone says Ireland's a great country because of its people. Well, Ethiopia's a great country because of its people. Um, they're very, very, very polite, very mannerly, very kind, very caring. And all they want to do is promote what they believe is their culture. And I think it, that should be enough for anybody. Because ultimately, you know, people have said this assumption about Ireland that we just don't like to drink pints. You know, that's because of an American concept of what Ireland is. We know that's not it. We know we've got so much to offer as geographic, historic, and cultural destination. Ethiopia has all those and in spades. It's a country of, which will be pushing eventually 100 million people in the not far distant future. It's a massive country with a couple of hours flying time domestically. People don't realize the scale of what you have here. It's an incredibly safe country. I've, I love to wander. My very first time in Addis Ababa in 42 years, by the way, was my the spread between my first and my second visit to Addis Ababa. I just wandered out of my hotel and wandered around at night, and I had an absolute ball just talking to people, having a beer, having some food. It's an incredibly safe city to, to be in. We tend to get absorbed in Africa as a country. Africa is not a country, it's a destination, it's a constant country. And why is it one of the most go to cities in the world, according to Rough Guide, the Lonely Planet, and others will follow in that? That I have absolutely no doubt. So look forward, please, to Ethiopian holidays being marketed to you through Carol and through me and, uh, and all our staff in Dublin, all the travel trade that's in this country, and our travel media who are incredibly supportive of good quality products. I embrace you and please raise your glasses please to wish Ethiopia a very very happy new year. Enjoy.